So hi guys, uh, under skin diseases, let's talk about atopic dermatitis. So clinical features are acute, subacute, but usually chronic, you take it to a nation of the epidermis, and dermis often occurring in association with personal or uh, family history of hay fever, asthma, uh, allergic rhinitis, or atopic dermatitis. So 60% of the patients with uh, this condition begin to suffer from some time during the first year of their life, but onset is mostly frequent in their first two to three months. So it commonly presents with the following skin lesions, an arrhythmia, then a papule, scaling, excoriations, and uh, crusting. So pruritias uh, is the cardinal feature of the eczema, and the constant scratching leads to a vicious cycle uh, of each scratch, rash, each. So subsequently, the skin becomes uh, thickened, presenting mainly on the cheek and the extensor surfaces of the limb of an infant. It later localizes uh, to the flexural areas of the limb in both older children and adults. So the neutral history is that the disease clears uh, with age in the majority of the children. So management, so the patient should be educated in the disease and uh, in natural history and uh, the advisors to avoid any precipitating factors if identified, encourage wearing of clothes uh, made of cotton, avoid food substances that uh, seriously aggregate the eczema, avoid agents that will cause the skin to dry excessively, e.g. detergents uh, and uh, medicated soaps. So point to note is that one should use normal toilet soaps, avoid any of the petroleum jelly products uh, on those who react. So chloramphenidamine, mainly it, uh, four milligrams, eight hourly, can be used uh, to alleviate itching. Steroids, that is topical and oral steroids, uh, are a mainstay treatment. So use uh, of the mildest steroids that control the problem is uh, advocated. That is 0.1% of metamethasone and uh, or 1% of uh, hydrocortisone ointment or cream. Point note is that uh, if uh, large body surfaces and areas are involved, such as example 50% or over of the body involved uh, in the disease is a very severe and one should uh, be advised to consult with a dermatologist who may choose to use a systemic uh, steroid prednisolone that is 20 to 40 milligrams daily. The main complications uh, of infections need prompt treatment, such as bacterial, fungal, or uh, viral. So as with other atopic conditions, stress may aggravate eczema, and thus older children should be assisted and encouraged to minimize stresses, because this may precipitate the condition. Thank you very much.